we still have wars. We have women in the military, but we don't put them in the front lines because they don't know if we can fight. They don't know if we can kill. I think we can. I think all the general has to do is walk over to the women and say, you see the enemy over there? I just heard him talking. They uh, say you look fat in those uniforms. <laughs> to make love, not war. Well, that dates me. I was in college 20 years ago. <laughs> yep, I'm in my mid-2010s now, and... Uh, oh, mid to late 2010s. And uh, since my last special, I'm down to having three eggs left at this point, so no kids. Uh, <laughs> not gonna make it with three eggs left. I've read that you can't have children when you get older because your eggs age. And I thought, well, how old are these eggs? Maybe I can have children, but maybe I can have grandchildren. <laughs> Maybe it's good I don't have kids, because what would I say to a kid about drugs? I, I never lie. You know, when I was in college, that was 20 years ago, the love generation, psychedelics, there was LSD, it was mind expanding. I took LSD in college, and, and then I left school and got responsible, got a job, didn't do drugs again. But, you know, for the two years that I was in college, I probably did LSD, okay, every day for two years that I was in college. So. <laughs> What could I say to a kid about drugs? I don't like to lie. I would sound the way our mothers talk to us about their music. You know, your mom says, what is with this hard rock? We had lovely music. You could understand the lyrics. You could sing along. You could dance to it. But what do I say to a kid about drugs? What is with this crack? We had acid. The colors were beautiful. <laughs> It was affordable, five dollars you were high for a whole semester. <laughs> we didn't have to rob banks. For me, just for me once, try a little acid, please, please. <laughs> I read that LSD is making a big comeback now. It's actually replacing a foreign pot as the drug of choice. I guess it's part of that big move to kind of try and take pride at stuff that's being made in America again. <laughs> Everything comes around again in every way. Birth control, too. Remember, it used to be condoms. Then we were so happy when the pill came out, and now we're back to condoms, which you should use for your health, you know. You know what just got invented in the store? It's out there for the first time ever. Large size condoms. <laughs> Might be pretty happy about that in Dallas, I'm guessing. Everything's so big here. <laughs> Large size condoms in the store for the first time. Did you know? Did you know condoms had been one size fits all? And we thought we suffered with pantyhose? <laughs> Who knew, just like us, men were stumbling around their apartment saying, man, you can't get these things to come above the knee. Large size condoms. You think they're gonna have any trouble selling this product whatsoever? <laughs> I mean, just the intimidation factor alone. Oh yeah, give me a pack of condoms. Oh, large. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> then it's about time to! <laughs> when are those extra, extra large condoms coming out?